students in this video we are discussing finding the characteristic equation and characteristic roots of the given matrix here for this we will use the calculator by using the calculator we can do in this video we will discuss that one only suppose they are given capital a is a matrix uh, is equal to 6 minus 2 2 minus 2 3 minus 1 2 minus 1 3 okay now we know that the characteristic equation of a is determinant of a minus lambda i is equal to 0 so in this case you will let a minus lambda i determinant is equal to 6 minus lambda minus 2 2 minus 2 3 minus lambda minus 1 2 minus 1 3 minus lambda is equal to 0 here only we will find while finding the determinant many of the students will do mistakes okay now for that purpose i am explaining by using the calculator how you can get before that you have to know some uh, useful information you see actually the given matrix is of order what 3 by 3 3 by 3 means you will get the characteristic equation of degree what 3 only so how many roots you will get here characteristic roots 3 roots you will get okay if suppose three roots if you are getting for the polynomial in terms of lambda that you can write like this how do i can write means if a comma b comma c are the roots you can write lambda minus a into lambda minus b into lambda minus c that is equal to lambda cube minus a plus b plus c into lambda square plus a b plus b c plus c a into lambda minus a b c okay now what is a b c a b b c plus c a minus a b c now i will explain you see if you hear lambdas are lambda only what about a plus b plus c actually a plus b plus c means trace a trace a is equal to a plus b plus c so we need to find a plus b plus c nothing but trace a Tell me the trace a for the given matrix. Trace is nothing but for the matrix a. 6 plus 3 plus 3. So 6 plus 3 plus 3 is nothing but. Yes. 12. Next. A b plus b c plus c a is equal to trace of adjoint a. Trace of adjoint a. So first we need to find adjoint a and then trace a na. Of course in generally we will do like that. Uh, if you have the calculator you can do like that and one more is shortcut is also there see so from the a you will get adjoint a na? but is it required total adjoint a for you no you required adjoint a in that uh, trace only trace of adjoint a values only you require so you find the uh, values for 6 3 3 Did, uh, find out the trace of adjoint a so for in adjoint a how you will get the 6 value here 3 into 3 9 9 minus 1 9 minus 1 is 8 next for 3 for 3 means 6 3 is 18 18 minus 4 14 plus for 3 you need to find for 3 means 6 3 is 18 18 minus 4 again you will get 14 so 14 plus 14 plus 8 you will get 36 this is trace of adjoint a. Now a, b, c. What is a, b, c means determinant of a. Now you see determinant of a is very tough only now. Directly finding, directly. Okay now in a minutes you cannot find out. So now we will discuss all this with the calculator. One second. Given matrix is a is equal to this one. So first in the calculator you have to write matrix a. For that press menu go for the matrix in the matrix you have the fourth option so press 4 in the calculator now first we have to define a matrix matrix and we have to give the name as mat a so mat a is nothing but press 1 okay you see what is the order of the given matrix first they will ask the number of rows for the matrix how many rows are there three rows so press 3 how many columns are there here three so you are getting matrix a now we have to edit this matrix then only you will get the matrix so in place of 0 i have to give a11 one one is 6 like minus 2 is equal to 2 is equal to minus 2 is equal to 
3 equal to minus 1 is equal to 2 equal to minus 1 is equal to 3 is equal to. You see, now you are getting the matrix A. 6 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 3 minus 1, 2 minus 1. This you, you see here the shaded is 3. The value is 3 which is showing A33 value. This 3 is nothing but which is showing A33 value. Now you press AC. See, if you press AC, then uh, on the display, it is showing only matrix. Our matrix is there or not. How you can verify means go for the press option button in that. See, you press 3. Matrix A is there or not. You can check it. You see, now you have a matrix. Suppose some students while giving the matrix A values, some people will do the mistake. You can edit that one also. For that, you press AC. Go for the option. In that, you have to go for edit matrix okay na? now press ac now we are doing operations what operations you can do in the matrix means press option button press option button in that you see first one is you have define a matrix you see here right corner you have some joy uh, downside symbol is there now you press s yes, what i want now means determinant i required so press 2 determinant of what not a so go for options in that options mat a close the bracket is equal to now you see what is the determinant of a here you have 32 we got the determinant of mat a is 32 okay now we will let the determinant of mat a here this is equal to 32 you see actually previously we written trace of adjoint a is 36 is it correct or not by using the calculator how you can check okay see actually you can find out the determinant directly but you don't have a to get direct option in a, a calculator adjoint matrix how you will get the adjoint matrix means you know the formula a inverse is equal to adjoint a by dt a so now i want only adjoint a adjoint a how you can get means dt a into mat a inverse then you will get adjoint matrix now we are going to get adjoint matrix then once you see here adjoint matrix how i am doing means first I want dt a. So I know the dt a into dt a. This into. Okay. Or else you can press AC. Now you see. Matrix option. In that. Mat a. Okay. Mat a. I want inverse. First x inverse. X inverse means. Here you see how I can get x inverse means. Press this button. And write minus 1. Or else you have one more option. Directly x inverse option is there. Once you see here. X inverse option is there. So press delete. X inverse. Matrix a inverse into. 32 is equal to you see now you will get adjoint a what is adjoint a matrix you see here this is the adjoint a matrix find the trace of adjoint a 8 plus 14 plus 14 so that one only now we are written in the previously see what we written 8 14 14 that is 36 okay now? by using the calculator you can find out or simply in that method also you can find out okay here in this case we don't do any mistake okay one second now write down these uh, values in the given equation uh, in the above equation then it will become the characteristic equation is mod of a minus lambda i is equal to lambda cube minus 12 lambda square plus 36 lambda minus 32 is equal to 0 which is the characteristic equation if you know the characteristic equation you can find out the roots how we can find out the roots this is the polynomial of degree 3 by using the calculator we can find out the roots now we are in matrix mode now. so change into normal mode further uh, press mode button press 1 okay now i want to uh, find the roots of the polynomial so go for the equations for that press menu equations equations option is here you see down joystick again down joystick if you go for then here a is a equation and function so press a means here this minus symbol you need to press now is it a simultaneous equations or polynomial equations here lambda is only one unknown is a polynomial of degree through so press 2 how many what is the degree of the polynomial 3 so press 3 now you have to give the lambda cube quotient to this is compare with ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d now for that what is the lambda cube quotient you need to know what is the lambda cube quotient here you have first a that has a that is 12 is equal to lambda square quotient here you have minus 12 that is is equal to 
lambda coefficient here you have 36 next constant what you have minus 32 so minus 32 is equal to. now again you press is equal then you will get the lambda values okay one second no? we got wrong values why we are getting wrong values means here you see once we have done a mistake what what we have done a mistake also we will rectify uh, x1 value x2 value x3 value actually x1 x2 x3 value we won't get like that you see a value is x cube quotient what is x cube quotient here we have lambda cube quotient what is lambda cube quotient one only now so write one is equal to. now lambda square quotient is minus 12 next lambda coefficient is 36 next constant is minus 32 now you press is equal to button now you press see x1 is equal to what you are getting here 8 so lambda 1 is equal to 8 comma and second one is what you are getting 2 next again is equal to now you see x2 x1 x2 it is showing but x3 is not showing why it is not showing here you have to remember one thing whenever the roots are repeated whenever the roots are repeated in the calculator you won't get then how you can find out the repeated root here two roots are there maybe 8 will be repeat or else 2 will be repeat you know that uh, a b c this constant is equal to determinant of the matrix actually determinant of the matrix is, is equal to the product of eigenvalues you see 8 2 and how much 16 so what is the rest of uh, value is 2 only so 2 is repeated again suppose if you take an 8 8 8 is 64 64 to the 128 128 is wrong sorry here minus is there yes you see here minus a b c so a b c is the product of the eigenvalues a b c is the determinant of the matrix so finally we will get uh, the value is 8 2 2 are the eigenvalues this is the very easiest method uh, by using the calculator we can find out the characteristic equation you have to remember in this method if you are using the calculator you never do any mistakes okay thank you for watching video